All right, and here we are back again with another update, but today we're actually going to be watching a trailer for this update. And because the game has a trailer for this update, I think it's going to be pretty big. And we're about four minutes away. Make sure to go subscribe to the Drive World YouTube channel, and make sure to go subscribe to Xander. I'll make sure to put his channel down in the subscription, and he's the one that made this, so if you enjoy it, make sure to go subscribe to him. I think I'm going to let the whole video play through, and then after I'll go back and look at specific parts. And I'm not sure if this has copyrighted music, so I'm just going to play it on mute because I'm, I don't want to get a copyright strike. And here we go. Okay, so they are bringing the Japan map. Okay, so we have an AE-86 there. That's a car that we already have. A Civil. Okay. An Audi. Yeah, this place looks really nice. And there's the picture from Devil Dog. That's where he took the picture. Uh, an off-road track. Seemed like a Japan-style house. There's a... It seems like a temple. And obviously, you need the windy roads for drifting. Okay, it still goes. Now we're into the city. Yeah, this looks really good at night. And there's some more outside buildings. Some more dirt tracks. What was there was pins for bowling? I'm gonna need to check that out. The more windy roads. There's a Zena. That was a pretty nice turn just in there. Yeah, this looks sick. I'm gonna have to check this out. And there you go, edited by Xander. Make sure to go subscribe to him. Here, before we go and look at the update, let's look at some of the specifics of this trailer. So, the new stuff we have. We have the AE86 here. And then another new car. Um... That's not new. Uh, I think this is new. That's a new car. Uh, dirt tracks. A temple. Another angle of the AE86 actually driving there. And then some of the city. Doesn't seem like there's any other new cars being shown in this. All right, so in the Discord server, they have just said that it's coming out on May 5. So it seems like the next update is bringing Japan instead of this week. I guess we'll just have to see what's in store for then. Drive World has just updated. And in this update, they're finally bringing Japan. Here we are in game. We still start off at the normal spawn spot but if we come over to here we can either go to japan or going into the new gps system you can finally tp to japan so let's go there and here's the loading screen for it we've been waiting months for it so let's check it out and here we are i'm still loading in but look at all the people excited to see this map and here it is this is really beautiful uh we have a lot to get through this video we have a ton of new cars we have new weeklies again and a whole bunch of races to look at and with this new map i'm going to be redoing some of my videos doing new car meets doing another porter rich so if you want to join those make sure to join my discord down in the description but without further ado let's look at some of the new cars they've added so looking in the shop they actually messed up one of the cars it's still one dollar 
Uh, this is the Roadster 1. It has a horsepower of 128 and a score of 216 at stock. Also, I forgot to mention that they have updated the text in all these areas, so it's a different font. And here are the customizations for it. Also looking at this, they have added body kit options, but you can get a full kit instead of picking all the parts out. That seems to be a little glitched. And here it is Max with a score of 1,361 and a horsepower of 1,276. And driving it around, it gets around 180 miles per hour. Uh, so it's not one of the best cars in the game. It's pretty bad. The next car we have here is the Nexus 1. It has a horsepower of 287 and a score of 322. And here are the customizations for it. I think that these body kits are a good addition. The student driver sticker seems to be a little off because the windshields are different. They're not flat.
and this roof scoop makes absolutely no sense it wouldn't it, this doesn't help the car at all and here it is max with a score of 1159 and a horsepower of 1276 this car seems to get around 270 miles per hour uh, if you keep going on straights, you could probably get higher, but this map doesn't actually offer too many straights, so faster cars wouldn't really matter on this map. And the last new car we have in the shop is the Nimbus 933. At stock, it has a score of 387 and a horsepower of 396. At max, it has a horsepower of 1,276 and a score of 1,101. And looking at this in shop, it seems too low for these tires but now let's check out the customizations on it This car can get around 280 miles per hour, but like the other cars, this map doesn't offer too many straights, so really max speed doesn't matter for these cars. And they also added these other two cars, so we have the T90 at a horsepower of 121 and a score of 233.
these new cars seem to these new cars seem to have a lot of customizations on them this car is pretty cheap but it's still able to get around 250 miles per hour so it's pretty good and the last actual car we have to check out it we have a mini truck it is called the taraku and it has a horsepower of 49 and a score of 136. And here are the customizations for it. This one maxed gets around 260 miles per hour and it has a score of 1,804 and a horsepower of 1,276. And as you could tell in the shop, they brought out a new car pack, which finally brings out the R400 BC, a Roadster Spider and a future Roadster. Now with the new cars out of the way, let's look at the new weekly quests. And they seem to be the same weekly challenges but they finally bring back the drag pal so every single person that wants this make sure to get it this week because it's probably not going to come back for another few months and they brought out the rotary extreme but before we finish the weekly challenges i'm going to show you all the new races and we have a lot to do and while i'm in the map this is what it looks like currently the first race we have here is pillar circuit There's the first race. Uh, it's a pretty short race compared to every other race. You're gonna notice that all these races are actually way longer than the Orange Valley map. And a lot of these seem to be dominated by the mixture. So this is gonna give even more of a reason to buy the mixture over other expensive cars. And here's the next race, it's School Scramble.
and as you can see these races have a lot of turns which the mixture is the best car for this so really there's no competition if you bring a mixture to these races and the next one we have here is the shibuya midnight circuit There we go with another sub one minute race. Uh, these all are actually pretty short so far. And the next one we have here is the scenic route trail. And there's our longest race yet. And there is Choyaku Rush. Uh, if you're using other cars, this is pretty long. And all these races, I'm pretty sure, are in the race voting. So if you're doing these in 400 restriction or 600 or 800, these will take a really long time to finish. And the drag strip is exactly the same as the other map. So I'm not going to be showing you this race, but this is what it looks like with a pretty cool ramp at the end. And here is Hurricane Circuit. Uh, this is the first race circuit in this map.
When doing this race, it seems fine in the mixture, but using any other car, it's almost unplayable because of how sharp these turns are. Here's the next race. Uh, I'm using a 1000 car, so it's going to be pretty slow. Uh, I'm not even going to try to pronounce the name of this race. There it is, uh, Hikikasu uh, Downhill, that one. Uh, that one's actually a pretty decent length race. I think that's a perfect time for a 1000 score car. Uh, it shouldn't be too long and it shouldn't be too short. And here's the next one, it's Anaka Street Circuit. There it is. Uh, this race is also pretty good. I like the ones that are more narrow and you have to have precise turns, but I just wish that other cars were able to compete over the mixture. The next one we have here is Inisharu Downhill. The next race we have here, it's probably my favorite, it's Interchange Sprint. The next race we have here is the Kasoro Crashers, which this is probably the worst race. As you can probably tell, it's another jumping jacks. It's a little better than the other jumping jacks, but I still just don't enjoy the race. I do like that last jump though where it brings you back into the city. The next one we have here is the Keto Togue? I, I don't know. Maybe... Whoops. Whoops.
Yeah, as you can tell, the one bad thing about these races is if you ever mess up on a checkpoint near one of these guardrails, your car just gets stuck and you're not able to finish the race. And then that just defeats the whole purpose of resetting your car. The next one we have here is the Sai Shin Rally. This race seems like it would be good in first person. The next race we have here is the Typhoo Circuit. And I think this is the only other race circuit they have. I actually think I like this one more with the mixture, but using other cars, this race is also pretty annoying to do. There is Takashi Rallycross. The next one we have here is Yama Street Circuit.
And the last race we have here is Tory Trouble. And there we go, we have finally finished all the races. Uh, the one thing I don't like about some of these races is how some of them are really complicated and some of the turns you don't know when you're supposed to take them. So you're taking them too early or you're taking them too late. Now let's grind the weekly challenges and check out the brand new Rotary Extreme. And here we are back again. I have finally finished all the weekly challenges. So let's collect them and see how good the Rotary Extreme is. At stock, it has a horsepower of 413 and a score of 439. There isn't too many new mods on this car. At max, it has a score of 1,155 and a horsepower of 1,276. I actually really like how this car looks. And at max, it can get around 310 miles per hour. So it's definitely not one of the best weekly cars that has come out recently. And this map is actually better for finishing the quests. So if you need to do trailer deliveries or groceries, definitely come to this map and do those instead of doing them on the Japan map. And that's basically everything big for this update. I'm still gonna get to some little changes right now. So heading into paint, you can now put in a hex code for the color paint you want so you can get the exact color. And this also allows you to share paint colors with other people in the game. And the other thing is all of the Ferraris have been changed. So if you look at them, they look a little bit different. And this is so that they don't get in trouble for using Ferrari's car models. Uh, the same is for the Law Ferrari, the R400 and the R400 BC, and the Exotica, which I think this is all of the Ferraris. I don't think there's any more. With that being said, I think that's going to be the end of this video. Let me know down in the comments what you think about this update. Do you like the new map? Do you like the new races, the new cars, all this stuff? Do you like it? And I'll see you in the next video.